Hello, welcome back. This is where we stopped in the earlier topic. Let me just rename this as Postings Part 1. Then we'll create Part 2 here so we can continue with the rest of the foreign currency revaluation. That's what we're going to do now. All right. Just to recap, in the earlier topic, we tried to execute a revaluation for company code SUN on the revaluation created 31st December, and we're going to evaluate vendor open items, customer open items, and GL balances. One, two, and three, which corresponds to this open invoices in foreign currency can be AR or AP invoices. We're going to evaluate this and this, which corresponds to these two here. And this one corresponds to this checkbox here. Now, let us execute. Okay, we have got, this is a test run. We have not done a live run yet. We've got a report here. Let me show you how to interpret this report. All right. You see this here? It looks a bit familiar. These are the documents that we have posted for customer invoices and vendor invoices. All right. And for the GL balances, for this GL balance, the evaluation is done here. 20009 and 30000. Okay, these are the GL accounts that we are evaluating the balances for. Although we have posted some documents for this, those documents will not be shown for GL account balances because we are evaluating the GL account balances and not the GL account open items. The reason why the document number is shown here is that these represent the foreign currency invoices. Okay, let us examine the first one here. D stands for customer invoice. 1,000 euro currency, which is converted to 1,241 U.S. dollars at the rate of 1.24, the exchange rate. All right, you can see two exchange rates here, right? So which one is the document exchange rate? which means the rate at which the document value has been converted to the local currency. This one or this one? To watch the full video, buy our SAP training videos at www.erptraining9.com.